Recovering from a WordPress site crash after doing a software update can be very time-consuming and expensive. While your site is down, you're not making any money. And if you don't know how to recover from a catastrophe like this, it can be very time-consuming and expensive trying to find help. So we made this short video providing you a few tips on how you can avoid this catastrophe in the first place and some tips on how you can recover quickly if this problem has already happened on your site. Let's start off by giving you some tips on how to avoid this problem in the first place. Number one, back up your database. Before ever updating your WordPress site, you should back up your database. There's several great plugins for this and I use the WordPress database backup. Once you install this plugin, go to Tools, Backup, and Configure to configure this program. At the top of your settings, you have your table options. Here, I check the box to exclude spam comments and exclude post revisions. Next, scroll down to the Backup options. You can save a copy to your server, download to your computer, or email you a copy. I prefer having a copy emailed to me. If this is the first time running this plugin, you should now press the Backup Now button. During this backup process, do not close your browser window, reload the page, or click on the Stop or Back button during this process, as it will cause your backup to fail. This process may take a few minutes, depending on the size of your database, so please be patient. A few minutes after the plugin completes its backup, you should have a copy waiting for you in your inbox. After your backup is completed, you can schedule regular backups. If you have a very popular site, you can have a backup created once an hour or twice a day. However, most of us will only need to backup once daily or perhaps once a week. Then select the tables that you want to backup here on the right column. If you want to select multiple tables as we are doing here in this example, hold down the shift key and then press the Schedule Backup button. Also remember, updating your database will not save your images or themes that you may have on your website. If you want to create a backup of those, you will need to go to your cPanel and select Backups and perform a full backup of your site if you've never done this before. Number two, delete the plugins you no longer use. Even though you may have these plugins deactivated, they are still storing their code on your site, so delete them. Click on the delete link under the name of the plugin and press the delete link and then on the next screen confirm your deletion. Number three, update your plugins. Make sure that all your WordPress plugins and themes are updated first. Go to your dashboard, updates, select all, and then press the Updates Plugins button. Do the same for your themes. Number four, deactivate your plugins. Most WordPress upgrades go wrong because a plugin may not be compatible to the new WordPress update. Deactivating them prior to the upgrade and then activating them one by one will save you from a ton of headaches down the road if something was to go wrong. Go to your plugin page and click the deactivate link of each. Number five, update WordPress. Go to your dashboard and press the update now button. Number six, Clear your blog's cache. If you're using any of the WordPress caching plugins such as W3 Total Cache, make sure that you purge the cache once the site is updated. Number seven, activate your plugins one by one and check to see if there are any conflicts. Are you experiencing a problem accessing your admin page after upgrading or are you continually being redirected to the database upgrade page when trying to log in? If so, I suspect that one of your plugins was still activated when you upgraded. If this is the case, use an FTP program. Log into your site and rename your plugin folder to something like old dash plugins and create a new directory called plugins. Your plugin folder is typically located under the WP dash content folder. 
Now log back into your WordPress site, and WordPress will scan your new plugin directory and deactivate any plugins not found. Now go to your dashboard, updates, and reinstall your WordPress update. Once the update is completed, delete the new plugin directory that you created and rename the old plugin directory to plugins. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have, can you do me a favor? Please consider sharing it with your friends by pressing the like button or the Google Plus button. Hey, your friends will think you're cool that you're into WordPress and all. And if you'd like more information about WordPress, search engine optimization, or social media, come over to our website at seotrainingsw.com, where we have many more free WordPress and SEO training videos, and you can even sign up to take one of our more advanced in-person search engine optimization classes, or order one of our advanced training DVDs to get your website to the top of the search engines. This is Roy Ryer from SEO Training SW and the Search Engine Academy. Thank you for watching and have a great day.